Y'all, this is how I know that I'm gonna be like the weirdest pregnant woman when it comes to cravings. I just came home from work and these are all the things that I was craving. I was craving grapes, trail mix, salmon, uh, that's sauteed mushrooms and peppers, rice, sweet potato, and potato chips. I'm about to put some ranch dressing on it. It looks so disgusting even to me, like it's just the most peculiar mixture of things, but that's what I'm craving. At least I portion controlled. <laughs> So it's not a lot of stuff, but yeah, when this pregnancy hits, definitely watch out for just hot dogs, pickles, and rum, raisin ice cream, and all that crazy stuff. So yeah, a little lunch slash snack after work. Hey y'all, it's Thursday. I just got off of work, and I am killing time until I have to go do yoga, hot yoga. It'll be my first time doing it, so I'm kind of excited for it. I'm kind of nervous to see what it's all about. Um, but hopefully I can record in there. I'd like to record the whole experience and everything like that, but I know that maybe some people might not be comfortable with it, but I'll ask the receptionist at the desk and see if I can. Um, as for today, there's not really much going on. Like, I just had work. I'm going to go do hot yoga and then hopefully dinner later on so maybe i can take you guys along for that as well and yeah so i'll catch up with you guys later Hey y'all, so I just finished the hot yoga and it was really, really good. Like it was really hard. Even right now, like I feel like my lungs are stretched out so bad. Like you know how when you run a marathon or something and you catch yourself going out of breath and by the end of it, like your chest just hurts. So I'm just surprised that it feels like that considering you weren't doing any running. It was mostly just a lot of stretching and core and breathing and stuff. but. I really enjoyed it. I always made fun of it before, but it's it's intense and I definitely can feel the effects of it. I wanted to record, but um, it was really packed. Like it was at least 30 deep. So I was just like, mm, that's kind of awkward. Me in here trying to record people and stuff. So I just didn't do it. And I was even gonna record me afterwards like cause I was dripping in sweat. Like it was, even my clothing still is covered in sweat. So like I wanted to record that but I just felt uncomfortable but I really like the layout of the place like it's really nice it's clean it's just it's very modern so I I'll definitely be going back I got like this trial membership for a month and it's unlimited for 40 bucks so that's not bad I'll try to go at least a couple times a week I'd hope to go once every day but you know me well y'all don't know me but me and stuff like that like 
I'm on the bandwagon for the first week and then after that I just fall off but I will try to de dedicate myself to a couple times a week um, hopefully I can uh, record in there the next time I go is just well I could show you guys what it looks like it's only because when I came in everybody else was coming in as well so I didn't want to be that creeper but if I go early enough I think it'll be dead and I could just like record the layout of everything before we start but yeah, I enjoyed it. I'll definitely be going back. It's definitely a nice change of workout because I've been trying to find different ways to work out and make it fun because the whole gym thing is kind of getting old to me. So I wanted to start doing yoga, which I can scratch off the list. And I also want to start boxing. Um, my boyfriend has a friend who has a boxing arena so I'm going to try and see if I can get him to uh, get me a pass to go and just try it out and see what it's going to be like. So hopefully that works out and hopefully it's going to be something that I can do um, continuously. I've always wanted to box. I think it's, it's a great way to get rid of stress as well as like just building your core and stuff like that and your stamina. So... And plus, I want to be Rocky for a day. You know, I always think it's so sexy to see a female boxer because it's just something that's so out of the norm because you don't tend to see women as being aggressors and stuff. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I'll take you guys along with me for that as well. I'll try to beg him to, like, record it for me. So, yeah, I'm headed home. I'm going to take a shower, clean up, and go out to dinner later on. So I will catch you guys in a bit. Oh, they put it on there? You supposed to be on like What is that? <laughs> this is the um Hey guys, so just got finished with dinner. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't vlog in there as well because it was really busy and I didn't want to be like the schmuck just like recording and stuff. So yeah, but dinner was really good. I did get a bit of the food that we had and yeah, it was, it was okay. Like it was an experience. Like we tried a lot of different stuff like frog legs and clam and stuff. So yeah, I'm really tired i'm just gonna go home take off my makeup and just jump into bed and get ready for work tomorrow so you guys have a good night and i'll talk to you later hey y'all so i'm on break from work and i decided to go and get myself something to eat so i got some um some subway i got myself a six inch sub some baked chips and a soda i'm trying to <laughs> make better healthier choices i didn't bring lunch today because i was just too lazy to pack lunch so i decided to go to subway instead of like grabbing pizza or something greasy or like chinese food and stuff like that so i'm trying to do this healthy living lifestyle thing so i'll keep you guys updated on that don't mind my face like this is one of those days where i was just like i'm not gonna wear makeup because I'm going to be staring at a computer screen all day anyways, and I'm not going to be having any real interactions with people. So I decided to go makeup free. But anyways, I'm going to go eat lunch, and I'll talk to you guys after work. Bye. Y'all, so I just went into the Chinese grocery store, and look what I found. I found these in the grocery store just like perusing through the aisles and stuff so you know what that means the spicy noodle challenge so I didn't even know that they would have it here because most of the challenges that I've been seeing people have been ordering them on Amazon or something or like I hear people talking about order the ordering them so I was really surprised that I found them there and I just thought it has to be fate so I'm gonna try to get Bay to do the challenge with me so hopefully it'll be on the channel sometime very soon uh, tomorrow is Saturday we're both off so I'll try to get him to film it with me then and you guys stay tuned so I'm headed home and I'll talk to you guys in a bit bye hey guys so I just got home well I didn't just get home 
I got home a while ago. It took me three hours to run all my errands and stuff. So um, I just took a shower and I'm just gonna watch some TV and wait till the boy comes home and we'll just hang out before I pass out. Oh, I wanted to show you guys what I got from the store. I had gotten the spicy noodles. Oh yeah, look at those nails. Okay, I had gotten the spicy noodles to do the spicy noodle challenge. So I'll ask him tonight. Hopefully he says yes. Either way, I'm gonna beg him to do it. So there's that. I had gotten some strawberries and this dark chocolate, um, what is this, like a spread. Uh, earlier at work, someone had brought in strawberries and this dark chocolate uh, spread. And like, I guess to make your own um, chocolate covered strawberries. So I tried it with the chocolate and it is so good. Like it's dark chocolate, but it tasted really good. Like it didn't taste bitter or anything like that. So I'm gonna enjoy that for dessert. And the good thing is you don't have to melt your own chocolate and do all that stuff. So it's, I'm lazy. So it's good. So I'll just wash these up, put them in a bowl, put this in a side dish, and then we can like snack on that later. And then I got some wine to go along with it. And wait. Yeah, so then I got some Moscato to go along with it. I haven't tried this one yet. So yeah, hopefully it's good. So kind of a sweet, well, lazy romantic night. Uh, hopefully I get to, you know, persuade him to do the chili, the spicy noodle challenge thing with me. So yeah, so that's it. Um, I think that's gonna be it for the night. I don't see myself doing anything more eventful. This week has been pretty dead. Hopefully this weekend will be more exciting and we'll get into some more things. He's off tomorrow, so we're thinking of, well, doing the spicy noodle challenge, going to yoga, and maybe doing a spa day or something. So I'll keep you guys in the know about that. And if we do anything fun, I'll pick up the camera and record it. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.